Okay, thank you. This is where I recorded now. Okay, um, so it is important for us to be uh, trying at least. So uh, something that I've been recommending some of our, you know, our murids to do is to at least, you know, the earlier part of the night. So start from Isha, you know, we can do our prayers together as a Jama'ah. And then at least, you know, do uh, Tasbih prayers, do Tawbah prayers. These are some of the prayers that are encouraged. Uh, do Hajjat prayers and uh, be uh, be sincerely asking for his forgiveness. That's what we should be seeking for in these last 10 nights. Eh? But we should be performing a bit more on the odd nights of the last 10 nights. Eh? So last 10 nights, need. On top of your taraweh, you know, maybe you can perform a bit more sunnah prayers, uh, tasbih prayers, ke, apa -apa, that, whatever, you know, as long as we at least, um, yeah, ni, we, we put in some effort for the last 10 nights and then more so on the odd nights of the last 10 nights, you know, inshallah. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll continue a bit reading about the, the benefits of Laylatul Qadr, inshallah. And... Um, let me go. Okay, let's go into the the uh, the, spe the uniqueness or the speciality of Laylatul Qadr. Eh? Why is it so special? Eh? So there are many fadilah and there are many specialities on the night of Laylatul Qadr, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has mentioned this in Al Quran. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned this in Al Hadith of the Prophet that makes the sayings. And so from here, we can see, we'll read a bit about the speciality of Laylatul Qadr and what Allah has mentioned about it. And first one, of course, eh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Mubarakah. So there's a few understanding of this Laylatul Mubarakah. According to Ibn Abbas, eh, it is the night of Laylatul Qadr. This, that was in Surah. Uh, Surah al dukhan verse 3. Eh? Laylatu inna anzalnahu fi laylatun mubarakah. But also, uh, some have seen that the laylatun mubarakah is also nisu sha'ban. Wallahu alam sawab. Eh? So both opinions can be taken. So number one, in laylatul qadr, there is barakah. So one of the main things we should be seeking for in this month is that we live with barakah. So we've paid our zakat, we've done our sadaqah, we've done our fasting, everything. Uh, what we also hope for is that Allah accepts it. And so don't be too sure. Eh? Kita dah buat ibadah, then suddenly, why would it not be accepted? Because of our arrogance, because of our ego, because of our, you know, this. And there was a lady that was once um, uh, a neighbor of one of the companions. So the, the, the sahabah as rasul, Ya Rasulullah, this lady fasts and she prays, etc., etc. But her words hurt us. Her words hurt us. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that that person is Ahlul Nar. May Allah forgive us and protect us. So what does it mean? It means that as much as you can be praying, you can be doing this and that, but we must also be very conscious and mindful of the words that we use upon others. And so, and this is a, a huge challenge for us in this day and age. And so, uh, one of the things that we should be hoping for is barakah in our actions and characteristics as well. Simple thing, it sounds very easy, but trust me, it goes a long way to have barakah. Whatever we do, we must have it right from the beginning. Uh, even scholars even say, you know, if you start your business and your accounts is not right, scrap the whole account, start all over again. Uh, this was an advice given by one of the scholars that I've heard before. And uh, because they said there will be barakah if you put things in, in its proper place. And Allah will guide us with that. And then, number two, Allah is mentioned and is very mashur. Laylatul Qadri khayru min alfi shahr. Yani, is, is amal. The good deeds that you do for Laylatul Qadr is more than a thousand months of good deeds. And this I've explained yesterday why a thousand months historically what happened to one of the Bani Israel and then the Asbab Nuzul of Laylat uh, Surah Al Qadr. So that's why. So on top of the night that has Barakah, it is, is work that you do in that night is equivalent to better than a thousand months, mashallah. Eh? 
And then another in Surah Al-Dukhan verse 4, Allah has mentioned, بَدَ عُنْزُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْفَوْنِ الرَّجِيمِ فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمًا يعني, And then it will uh, in it فِيهَا يُكْرَهُ يُفْرَقُ uh, It will be given uh, فَرَقَه yeah, We make clear on the on what of the wisdom in their actions mm. And so يعني uh, there is uh, hikmah in it, and we will understand it. No, we will be given the wisdom of it, eh, of our actions, inshallah. There is Surah Dukhan, verse 4. Bin Jawzi, rahmatullah alayhi, has mentioned, uh, is come Layla to Qadr, eh, uh, because when Layla to Qadr comes, the angels will bring um, a book, a record, a book of record, which is as big as eight years. Uh, Ah, that means the book of record from year to year, a yearly book of, of records. Eh? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put as the angels to put the names of those that he has forgiven in those book of record. So basically the angels will come down with a huge book of record and in it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask, tell the angels, okay, this fulan put their names in. This fulan, fulana put their names in. When their name, your names are in the book of record, means you have been forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that happens in Laylatul Qadr. That happens in Laylatul Qadr. Yeah, and just likewise, Ibn Rajat Hanbali says that that verse, Surah Dukhan, verse 3 and verse 4, and I've mentioned this, some ulama say that it is actually Nisfu Sha'ban, some ulama say it is Laylatul Qadr. So we can see Nisfu Sha'ban, many people, I mean, we're backtracking Sha'ban now. Eh? Uh, many people say that it is bid'ah, that it doesn't exist, etc. Uh, they have not been reading what our scholars have been saying about Sha'ban and Nisfu Sha'ban. Eh? So, um, but especially now, we're understanding this verse for Laylatul Qadr. So we've been given many windows of opportunity for our du'as and all to be. Uh, to be accepted, inshallah, and our sins to be forgiven, inshallah. One of it is uh, your sins will be forgiven, your previous sins will be forgiven. One of the benefits or the, the, the fadillah of Laylat al Qadr is narrated by Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu an, uh, when the Prophet وسلم, was telling him, narrating to him about the speciality of Laylat al Qadr, and the Prophet has mentioned. من قوم ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه رواه بخاري ومسلم وأحمد بن حبل أما أحمد وابن حبان so there's so many people who know this يعني من قوم ليلة القدر whoever who takes the effort to stand in ليلة القدر with إيمانا واحتسابا يعني with Iman and conviction. Conviction, uh, uh, يعني, and you know, you, you are sincere about it. غفر له Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive the person ما تقدم من ذنبه يعني whatever that you have, the sins that you have pre performed previously before this. So it is a night that all of our sins before would have been forgiven if we have made effort to at least stand and to honor that night, inshallah. Eh? Another one narrated by Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an, yani, inna hadha shahru qad khadarakum wa fihi laylat al-khair min alfi shahru. Man hurri ma, man hurri maha faqad hurri ma khayra kullahu. وَلَا يُحْرَمُ خَيْرَهَا إِلَّا مَحْرُومُونَ uh, The Prophet says, Verily, he has come upon you uh, one month, and uh, in this one month in it, there will arrive uh, a day that is better than a thousand months. A day that is better than a thousand months. Whoever who is um, obstructed um, from... Hmm. There, are, there might be people who, who would be obstructed from other good things. Yeah? But um, 
but they it would inshallah they will be able to achieve this and this goodness this one night of goodness that means like it's like saying you know you might have not achieved anything good throughout the other months of the year but you might be able to achieve this one night eh, that Allah has given which is better than a thousand months of worship except for those that you know uh, are, are already being obstructed yeah any um, if you have not made any effort you know you won't arrive to it and that will become your obstruction so you know you'll be basically saying like it is meant to be achieved not it is not something for the elites it is not something for um uh for a special group of people no that it is meant for everybody unless you know you are one of those that is being obstructed by it uh, to block by it or you there's a veil between you and that uh, night of layla to qadr and trust me unless uh, you know uh, there are people that allah has mentioned that they will not be getting layla to qadr we we'll talk about that tomorrow inshallah but um, basically in this hadith it is saying it is difficult for you to not achieve laylat qadr it is difficult so we live in a time that laylat qadr seems a bit far fetched we're, we're just contented with fasting lah you get what i'm trying to say but the prophet is saying why do you think like that when it is is supposed to be achievable other things might be more difficult to achieve than this that's what he's saying so is like you know if it rains it rains you can you cannot avoid the rain that, that the kind of statement so i hope that this you know this this hadith has brought some uh some motivation for us and uh, you know so uh some of us might be tired from yesterday's um uh, our short qiyam etc if there is you know or at least before fajr we're doing a bit sunnah prayers so i hope that uh we we would put in a bit more effort after hearing what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned yeah ni it is impossible lah for you to not get lalat to qadr impossible lah macam mustahil how can you not get it you know uh, like that so what it requires from us is just to stay up at night and uh, i know it's not easy um, but that like i've said it's mustahil so even if you stay up at night you're not making a lot of prayers you're doing zikr in a sense you know sitting doing zikr simple things istighfar the best zikr in this month of ramadan is astaghfirullah or astaghfirullah alazim why because this is the month that if we leave this month not being forgiven we are the most bankrupt and so it is impossible to have met ramadan and leave ramadan to not be forgiven you know unless you like openly says i don't like i'm not fasting i hate ramadan wala a'udhu billah may allah protect us but if you're one of those who are trying just like a lot of people you're trying in this month of ramadan trying to fast trying to keep to your prayers trying to do some tarawih trying to do good deeds trying 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 those small trying in the sight of allah it is uh, impossible for you to not be forgiven in that sense eh? so um, i hope that you know inshallah we'll leave this ramadan being forgiven and having received laylatul qadr inshallah amin amin ya rabbal alamin so with that being said inshallah let's enter to our a bit a bit of time uh, our daily recitation for this month of ramadan and we'll begin by uh, realigning ourselves with these four statements that we always say before beginning this prayers for the anxious heart and i hope that we can use this before we do anything making tea preparing iftar uh, teaching learning doing homework for for those who have children out there this something i get my son to do um you know to i remind him as well as much as i can about this four four statements eh number one we'll tell ourselves oh allah assist me in reciting these prayers number two and we tell ourselves oh allah facilitate me in reciting these prayers number 3 we say oh allah allow me to complete reciting these prayers with safety and afia and number 4 lastly we say oh allah accept these prayers from me so this four statement you can do before you do anything and uh, it'll be a short dua and it doesn't make 
and you know it makes your mundane things uh, a way that you can connect with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Inshallah. Eh? Let's carry on. Inshallah with our intention. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I intend to be a humble servant of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to commit to the work of healing myself all around me and to the earth to draw strength of peace mercy compassion and love from all the states of ibadah wajib and sunnah to clarify my soul mind and body by observing this intention and the acts of the zikr in every breath that I have been given. I seek blessings, guidance, and protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and those who made this intention with me. Ameen, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Let's begin by making our al-fatiha, gifting this al-fatiha, to our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we hope through that that we receive his blessings and his guidance and his protection insha'Allah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ila hadratin nabil ila hadratin Sayyidina wa Mawlana wa Habibina wa Shafi'ina Rasulullahi Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Shay'un lillahi lahum al-Fatiha Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين عنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين نسريس our hands and make dua hopefully that Allah سبحانه وتعالى and uh, would cleanse and purify our hearts, our mind, our souls, uh, and our intention with the blessed rank of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma sunni ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Allahumma ya Rabbi bijahin nabika al-Mustafa wa rasulika al-Murtada. طاحر قلوبنا من كل وصف يبعدنا عن مشاهدتك ومحبتك وعبتنا على سنتي والجماعة وشوق إلى لقائك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Ameen. <clears throat> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alif Lam Mim. Thalik al Kitab al Raib fi Hudal al Muttaqin. الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون 
Sunnahs of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that there was once in in the nights of Ramadan where he would get some of the companions to re- or he would be reciting not the companions some of the surahs which are shadid you know that reminds him about the punishment that reminds him about this and you know this becomes a, a way that he you know he he reminds lah the the companions and himself. about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment you know all of this and so basically what his the prophet is showing us is the importance in making dua through the verses of the Quran so like example you know here we are asking Allah wa ghfir lana warhamna wa Allah protect us forgiveness fansurna ala qaumil kafirin and give us victory upon those who oppress us etc so this is a way that you know dua is prompting us make this dua the quran is prompting us to make this dua and we should say ameen or you know continue so there are sometimes you know we're not adding to the verses of the quran 
But what we're doing is we're continuing uh, some other du'as based on this du'a. So it's like a spin-off lah, mithal, macam gitu. You know, so a lot of the du'as, yeah, so if we're not sure about that, you know, you, what you can do is you can start off by uh, understanding the 40 Rabbanas, very famous 40 Rabbanas, I'm sure you can uh, Google them. So they're like all verses from the Quran. Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da if hadaytana wa hablana min ladunka rahma anna ka anta al-wahab. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina kurata ayunina wa ja'alna limutakina imama. Uh, all this, they're all the 40 Rabbanas that comes from Al-Quran. They're arranged by scholars uh, to, to remind us that there are many du'as from Al-Quran itself. And in the month of Ramadan, that's what the Prophet do when he was reciting Al-Quran. You know, then there are prompts of du'as which are good, he will ask for it. And if there's du'as that are, you know, ayats or verses which are shadid, he will cry and seek forgiveness of Allah. And that's how, I mean, it's good that we're also reciting the Qur'an and we just recite and we're not looking at it. We get the rewards. That's the miracle of Qur'an. You recite it. There's once Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, rahmatullah alayhi. This is a reminder for myself as well, you know. So Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, we know that he had dreamt of Allah for 99 times. This is very much sure. Doesn't mean he dreams of the Zat of Allah. That means he gets guidance from Allah. Yeah? And this does not make him a prophet because he does not receive revelation. So I have to make this very clear when I'm narrating the story. It's not people who jump to conclusion in today's day and age. So he, um, and then he asked, he pleaded, oh Allah, allow me to have it for the hundredth time. And so he did. And on that night, and he dreamt and he asked, oh Allah, you know, what makes your awliya your awliya? So what makes your friend of Allah a friend of Allah? And he's, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered, uh, by reciting Al-Quran. And Imam Ahmad was not contented with the answer. He asked, aw biha, bila faham? You know, with understanding or without understanding, Ya Allah. And Allah replied, with understanding or without understanding, Ya Ahmad. MashaAllah. Yeah? So whether we recite, like what we're reciting every 5 to 6 p.m., you know, the, the beginning part of all the verses of the Quran, we recite it without understanding or with understanding, you still get the rewards. If in this month of Ramadan, you're reciting Al-Quran and from cover to cover, you've completed it. And then, you know, there's the question, oh, I don't know whether I benefited from my reciting or not. Put that all aside, then it's all waswasa because you've managed to recite the word of Allah from cover to cover. MashaAllah, that is a tawfiq bin Allah, truly. And that in itself is worth a lot of shukur. And sometimes, you know, the nafsu is not contented. We've forgotten that that reciting Al-Quran without understanding itself is also a great part of worship. And so what more if you are able to understand it and you, you dive deeper into its meaning or its grammar, its balagha, etc. That is even higher, mashallah. But for many of us, if we recite it without understanding, don't feel that the Quran is only for the Arab speakers. It's for everybody. That's why it's, even if you don't understand it, you get the reward. And so these are the points, you know, Al-Quran reciting with or without understanding has its virtues as well. And uh, the, the du'as that come from Al-Quran as well. And don't forget to make du'a right after each time you've made uh, recite Al-Quran. Even if it means talaki with your teachers, etc. You finish Al-Quran, you close the Quran, you make a du'a. There is always a barakah in that du'a mustajab, inshallah. Eh? So just to share with you some of the tips about Al-Quran as we enter the last 10 nights, inshallah. Or oh, we're already in the last 10 nights. Eh? Let's carry on. With this, I invite you to put your, your right uh, palm on your heart, inshallah. We'll recite this verse three times, followed by Alam Nashra three times with our right palms on our heart. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring tranquility to our hearts and untangle whatever that is knotted up, inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم ولله جنود السماوات والأرض وكان الله عليما حكيما هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم 
وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا هُوَ الَّذِي أَنزَلَ السَّكِينَةَ فِي قُلُوبِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ لِيَزْدَادُوا إِيمَانًا مَعَ إِيمَانِهِمْ وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ صَدْرَكَ وَوَضَعْنَا أَنْكَ وِذَرَكَ الَّذِي أَنْكَ ظَهْرَكَ وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرًا إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرًا فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَارْغَبْ Let's blow into our hearts, inshaAllah. Ya Allah. Or grant us peace of heart, inshallah, and expand our hearts. Like I have shared yesterday in the explanation of these two verses, and we spent at length explaining these two verses yesterday. Yani, who will levy and zala sakina tafikulu bil mu'minin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and descends upon the hearts of the mu'min, and that any the believers sakina, liyas dadu and liyas dahi, and Allah increases their iman. With what iman they already have, Allah increases it. وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا And Allah knows. Eh? Allah knows what is in the heavens and the earth and Allah knows whatever that we have been doing and Allah will provide them wisdom, inshaAllah. So when we have iman, inshaAllah, the peace and tranquility will also come along with it. The challenges are still going to be there, but the peace, inshaAllah, will increase, inshaAllah. Yeah, we can. Uh, I'll upload yesterday's uh, video, and you can have a look at yes. Uh, you can have a listen to it yesterday's uh, in the video, inshallah, after it's being uploaded. Let's carry on reciting the other verses, inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الف قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاثك إذا وقب ومن شر النف فالثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا هسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غافك إذا وقب ومن شر النف فالثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا هسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غافك إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا هَسَدٍ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَالِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَهِ النَّاسِ 
من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الحمد لله we've completed the Quranic recitation inshallah now I invite you to be reciting the du'as from the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah protect us give us tranquility in our hearts and bring us closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his selected du'as inshallah and these du'as are from his du'as inshallah اللهم إني أمسيت أشهدك وأشهد حملات عرشك وملائكتك وجميع خلقك أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت وحدك لا شريك لك وأن محمدا عبدك ورسولك اللهم إني أمسيت أشهدك وأشهد حملات عرشك وملائكتك وجميع خلقك أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت وحدك لا شريك لك وأن محمدا عبدك ورسولك اللهم إني أمسيت أشهدك وأشهد حملات عرشك وملائكتك وجميع خلقك أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت وحدك لا شريك لك وأن محمدا عبدك ورسولك اللهم إني أمسيت أشهدك وأشهد هملات عرشك وملائكتك وجميع خلقك أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت وحدك لا شريك لك وأن محمدا عبدك ورسولك اللهم بك أمسينا وبك عصبحنا وبك نحيا وبك نموت وإليك المصير اللهم ما أمس بمن نعمتي أو بأهد من خلقك فمنك وحدك لا شريك لك فلك الحمد ولك الشكر اللهم علم الغيب والشهادة فاطر السماوات والأرض ورب كل شيء ومليكه أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أعوذ بك من شر نفسي ومن شر شيطاني وشركه وأن أقترف على نفسي سوءا أو أجره إلى مسلمين <تصفيق> لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك له الحمد يحي ويميت وهو على كل شيء كدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك له الحمد يحي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك له الحمد يحي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك له الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك له الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير 
لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير What is the meaning of this? Uh, that we keep reciting this every day, and eh? sometimes even after our prayers. Not sometimes we recite this after every prayer, inshallah, after we give salam. The meaning is there's no God but Allah. Eh? There is no God except for Allah. He is the one who has no partners. La sharika lahu. He is the sovereignty and he is all, he is all praise. And it means all praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has power over all things. He causes life and death, and he he has power over everything. So every kudra, every power is with Allah. So we're telling ourselves that we're not telling Allah. Allah knows this already. He, this is Him, so He would know this. This is a reminder for us. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika. There is no one that can be ascribed to Him. His zat is all mutlak. There is no one. He is baka. He is. Truly alive, he is the one that gives life, and he is the one that takes life away, and he has power over everything. This is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam has said, "He who utters a hundred times a day these words, La ilaha illallah wa hadhu la sharika lahu, la mulku wa lahu alhamdu yuhi wa yumit wa wa ala kulli shayin kadir, will have a reward equivalent to that of emancipating ten slaves." So, as we know. Slave Islam is the religion that brought uh, freedom and eh, or almost uh, abolished slavery, the closest. And eh, then after that, it started again, but it wasn't from Islam. Islam almost abolished slavery during the time of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa wa eh? So it means a lot when uh, when Prophet says it's as though you have uh, freed ten slaves. It means huge. If you look in Sirah, how Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Definitely the person who championed for human rights and freedom. Our Prophet was the first one. Women's right, humans' right, children's right, uh, prisoners of war's rights. Our Prophet was the first one. He was the first one who drew a constitution. I mean, what more can we ask for? So when he says it is as though you have freed ten slaves, it means a lot, mashallah. Okay, and then after that, um, and a hundred. Sorry, A hundred good deeds will be recorded to his credit. So one hundred thawab, one hundred good deeds will be given for you, inshallah, if you have recited one hundred times of this. Yeah? And a hundred of his sins will be blotted out from his scroll. And one hundred of your say, uh, your your shar, your badness, your evil deeds, your sins will be minus out, mashallah. Yeah. And he will be safeguarded against the devil on the day till the evening. So you will be protected from the basic and from the the whispers of shaitan, from the the misguidance of shaitan from the morning until the afternoon. So you're supposed to recite this a hundred in the morning and a hundred in the evenings. Yeah? And no one will exceed him in doing more excellent good deeds except someone who has recited these words more often than him. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So if you, there's someone who can do more good deeds than you, there'll be someone that has done the same amal that you're doing longer. So only that person can outwit, uh, can outdo you in doing goodness. MashaAllah. So so many virtues that comes with this amal. Eh? And one who enters Subhanallah wa bihamdihi a eh, hundred times a day, his sins will be obliterated even if they're equal to the extent of the form on the day. So this is another dhikr. I just added that hadith in. And just to show Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim, or whoever who recites a hundred times a day, and all your sins will be taken out. So this is the right month to begin these practices, 
and la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la if you are if you don't have a spiritual practice yet you can start with this you know these daily collections of zikr and even with this uh, 100 times a day if you're able to and uh, all of the goodness of freeing uh, 10 sleeves having a 100 good deeds uh, 100 sins blot blotted out you'll be protected from shaitan and you'll be you be racing the day with good deeds mashallah i think this is a very uh, beautiful askar for us to keep inshallah let's carry on uh, with the other askar raditu billahi rabba wa bil islam dina wa bi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiya wa rasula raditu billahi rabba wa bil islam dina wa bi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam nabiya wa rasula رضيت بالله رب وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم أزبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم اللهم عافني في بداني اللهم عافني في سمعي اللهم عافني في بصر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الكفر والفقر اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب القبر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم عافني في بداني اللهم عافني في سمعي اللهم عافني في بصر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الكفر والفقر اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب القبر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم عافني في بداني اللهم عافني في سمعي اللهم عافني في بصر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الكفر والفقر اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب القبر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الحم والحزن وأعوذ بك من العجز والكسل وأعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل وأعوذ بك من غلبة دين وكهر رجال اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الحم والحزن وأعوذ بك من العجز والكسل وأعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل وأعوذ بك من غلبة ديني وكهر رجال اللهم إني أعوذ بك من الحم والحزن وأعوذ بك من العجز والكسل وأعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل وأعوذ بك من غلبة ديني وكهر رجال بسم الله الذين يضر ما اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر ما اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر ما اسمه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم let's blow to our palms and wipe over our whole body inshallah may allah grant us protection with this asma and his zikr inshallah أعوذ بكلمات الله تمت من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله تمت من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله تمت من شر ما خلق اللهم إني أعوذ بك من شيطان الوسوسة الخنزب 
اللهم إني أعوذ بك من شيطان الوسوسة خنزب اللهم إني أعوذ بك من شيطان الوسوسة الخنزب Let's put our right hand, right palms on our chest and recite this dua insha'Allah Subhanallah al-Malik al-Quddus al-Khalaq al-Fa'al إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز سبحان الله المالك القدوس الخلاق الفعال إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز سبحان الله المالك القدوس الخلاق الفعال إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز سبحان الله المالك القدوس الخلاق الفعال إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز سبحان الله المالك القدوس الخلاق الفعال إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز سبحان الله المالك القدوس الخلاق الفعال إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز سبحان الله المالك القدوس الخلاق الفعال إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتم بخلق جديد وما ذلك عن الله بعزيز Look to our hearts insha'Allah May Allah give us peace of heart insha'Allah لا إله إلا الله العلي الحليم لا إله إلا الله رب العرش العظيم لا إله إلا الله رب السماوات ورب العرش الكريم يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك استغيث واصلح لي شأني كله ولا تكلني الى نفسي طرفة عين الله الله ربي لا اشرك به شيئا اللهم انت ربي لا اله الا انت خلقتني وعنا عبدك وعنا على اهدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبو لك بنعمتك علي وأبو بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر ظنوب إلا أنت اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وعنا عبدك وعنا على أحدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت عبوه لك بنعمتك علي وعبوه بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر ظنوب إلا أنت اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وعنا عبدك وعنا على أهدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبو لك بنعمتك علي وأبو بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر ظنوب إلا أنت أسبحنا وأمسى ملك لله استغفر الله أمسى أمسينا وأمسى ملك لله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لهم ملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير ربي أسألك خير ما في هذه الليلة وشر ما بعدها ربي أعوذ بك من الكسن وسوء الكبر ربي أعوذ بك من أذاب في النار وأذاب في القبر اللهم إني أسألك العافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم إني أسألك العافية والعافية في الدين والدنيا وأحلي ومالي اللهم استر عوراتي وآمن روعاتي اللهم احفثني من بين يدي ومن خلفي وأن يميني وأن شمالي ومن فوقي وأعوذ بعظماتك أن أختل من تحتي اللهم إني أسألك من خير ما سعى لك نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم 
ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذ منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وانت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله اللهم انت ربي لا اله الا انت عليك توكلت وانت رب العرش العظيم ما شاء الله كان وما لم يشاء لم يكن ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم اعلم ان الله على كل شيء قدير وان الله قد احاط بكل شيء علما اللهم اني اعوذ بك من شر نفسي ومن شر كل دابات انت اخذ بناسيتها اني ربي على صراط مستقيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد النبي الام سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ونبيك ورسولك نبي الام وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ما هو اهله جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ما هو اهله جزا الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ما هو اهله اشهد ان لا اله الا الله استغفر الله نسالك الجنه ونعوذ بك من النار اشهد ان لا اله الا الله استغفر الله نسالك الجنه ونعوذ بك من النار اشهد ان لا اله الا الله استغفر الله نسالك الجنه ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم Let's make dua our own personal dua with the blessings of whatever we've just recited all the surahs and all of the duas May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our du'as insha'Allah. صلى الله على سيدنا مولانا محمد النبي الكريم الحمد لله رب العالمين انتم لو سيك ذا بروتكشن اوف اول اوف ذس فيرسز ذات وي سايتد ان شفاء ان شاء الله مي وي بي بروتكتد ان شاء الله امين امين يا رب العالمين سو so, الحمد لله ثانك يو اجين ايفريبادي ان يو نو اتس نايس تو سي ايفريبادي اجين سيس وادا كان سي يو نو 
so thank you inshallah i hope that you have a blessed uh, last few nights of ramadan and that we get laylatul to qadr inshallah and then allah accepts all of our amal in this month and then make us uh, continue to carry this purity and this uh, this beauty of ramadan throughout the whole year inshallah and that we will be able to be good abid and good worshipper of allah until our very last hayat assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh if you like to donate and then uh, you can always do so uh, by uh, by apa tu um the the online uh, thing that is there oh sorry it's not to everybody let me do that everybody there you go the online donation link is there so if you like to contribute you can do so uh, by helping bc to sustain the work that we do and if not i see all of you tomorrow inshallah thank you for supporting us thank you for donating assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you for uh, thank you so Selamat buka. Ya, yes, Syazana. Thank you. Thank you, Shafika. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you very much. I see all of you soon, insyaAllah.